Hey, Father Taylor here. E-blast for Friday, the 23rd of July. Absolutely gorgeous weather. A little cool for my taste, but maybe we'll get some heat and humidity going up soon. So great to see you guys. Uh, so here's a little quiz for you to start with. So I have a series of hats that I've gotten uh, because my daughter, it's not really me, it's my daughter, loves to go to minor league baseball games. So wherever she is in the Air Force, she travels a lot. Uh, she goes to minor league games. And when I travel with her, I go too. So can you identify that minor league team? I wish I could tell you I was going to give you a big prize if you find out, but I'm curious if you got the, I have some other hats to, uh, to go before the sun was out soon. Anyway, back to the real stuff. Here is an announcement. So we're having beautiful weather today. Tomorrow is supposed to be absolutely fabulous. And I see there's an 80% chance of rain on Sunday. So here's what we're going to do. If the rain is going to be afternoon, great. We're going to meet at 830 as usual outdoors. If it looks a little bit dicey, the 830 service is going to meet indoors. Indoors. Now, so that means that for some of you who come outdoors just because of the virus and, you, and that's a, a precaution that you want to take, fully understand that. Uh, so if it's a rainy day, we will be indoors. Just giving you a heads up on that. If that is not so much an issue because you're vaccinated and you're feeling pretty confident and uh, the, the protocols that we use even in the building, uh, just don't not come because of rain. Come in our, and we'll go inside and we will make sure that we are out in time to let the 945 folks uh, come in. So if, if it's going to be uh, rainy, we're going to be indoors. And if it's uh, uh, going to be cloudy, we're going to be outdoors. But either way, we're going to have both of our services. This last Tuesday, we had uh, the first, I'll say, of, 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 a, of a, um, our, it's only had a retreat. It's just a time of prayer uh, to become reconnected, I think, both in our thoughts, what's, what does scripture reveal about God and the Holy Spirit? and to have the experience of inviting the Holy Spirit uh, to come and fill us and to kind of do the work that God thinks is necessary uh, in our lives. So we had 40 people come to that. I was planning on anywhere between six and 12. So we had a pretty good turnout of 40 people, pretty impressive uh, number of people came out. So I told you, if you listen to these e-blasts, I told you we're going to host the Holy Spirit but the Holy Spirit is going to do what the Holy Spirit wants to do. The Holy Spirit is a person. It's not a thing. And uh, it isn't like something that we command it and it happens. No, we become present to God. And that's by virtue of the Holy Spirit. And when we are in God's presence, God speaks and God leads. And that's what happened uh, last Tuesday. If you'd have asked me, what do I want to have happen? What do I think would be good to happen? I'm going to say I did not guess the way the Holy Spirit led. Very powerful, kind of a time of, of almost of a, of a kind of like, like getting back together with someone you have not seen for a long time, and you thought you were going to make plans to go do something, but it was just so good to see them. And, you know, they, they came and they hugged you. For a long period of time like boy i haven't seen you for so long that's kind of what happened tuesday night uh and uh, so if you're not familiar with the way that god works in terms of the holy spirit not just god in heaven but god right here up with us now uh, that was a very powerful time for us for me i think in, in kind of understanding where we are as a congregation from god's perspective so on Saturday, August 7th, starting at 8.30 in the morning, we will have another session, but with a, more, a longer period of time uh, for you to be able to like, just to be in God's presence and to listen. We are very busy people and busyness creates a kind of inner life, which is, makes it impossible, really impossible to uh, have great uh, relationships of depth. We're busy and we do a lot of things, but relationships of depth, depth take time 
and we reflect on them. And if you're ever going to know God, it, time and, 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 and being still in the presence of God is a skill that we all have to learn. So Saturday, August 7th, will be a continuation of what we just did Tuesday. If you didn't come next last Tuesday, that's fine. You will uh, be a tremendous beneficiary of what God wants to say to you. If you came last Tuesday, you are also invited to come back Saturday, August 7th. But the reason I'm bringing this up is it's just not like we put a DVD in or we streamed a service of some sort. We were present to God and God was very present to us. And uh, the only way that you can experience that is, is to be there in that moment with a community of people. So I just wanna extend that invitation to you and to any of your friends, uh, people you know, I don't care if they go to church, if they go to another church, if they don't go to any church, I would invite them to come. Uh, Cy Varlin uh, changed what he was gonna do once he got to be with us and uh, as we kind of spoke and we did some work together, they changed. The, I mean, the Lord was leading the meeting. That's all I can tell you. And if you think that's just a churchy, churchy term, you're wrong because it was very clear that God was leading in our meeting. So I just want to throw that invitation out to you for Saturday, August 7th. There are a lot of things which are going on uh, that God is doing many of which are not happening inside our church, which, which I mean is there, is there are an abundance of things which are now God is calling us into our community. Uh, and some of them, even if you don't want to go uh, become like a missionary in your own neighborhood, I need your help because we are now involved with some doing some things in the neighborhood. One of which has to do with uh, an initiative started by somebody not in our church who would like to have uh, the community come together and to just watch a movie. And so uh, if you're a grandparent, you may have already seen Despicable Me. If you're a parent, you definitely saw it. And if you're a kid, you probably know all the sequels. So Despicable Me is a movie we're gonna be showing in outside, like, like in our, on our property on uh, Friday night, August the 13th. But we all agree that to, uh, to reach out to invite Towerfield to come, uh, Facebook isn't enough. So we are going to, we have little hangers that we're going to put on mailboxes. And we'd like to hit every uh, available address in, uh, in Towerfield. We're not going door to door inviting people to come and know Jesus. Uh, we might meet some people in the neighborhoods, but uh, this venture comes as a result of prayer, uh, something we started praying about about 10 weeks ago with a group who pray for the church's mission. And it came in consequence to something that first grew out of that prayer meeting, which was a mission team, which has been meeting and getting together. And they were looking for a way simply to be able to walk through neighborhoods to pray and seek where is God at work in the neighborhoods around us. And so we had decided, hey, maybe we can do that in Terrafil, down at Governor's Bridge, down around Central Church Street, uh, uh, and in the main part of what I call downtown Terrafil. How do we get into Willow Arms? Because although we would love to, to do ministry with people in Willow Arms, we don't know anyone at Willow Arms. How will we have access to that? And then uh, the folks in the Heights are where we have a bunch of families who live there. Well, God gave us an opportunity simply to walk and simply to pray as we go for each of our neighbors and put these door hangers up. I need volunteers. And so uh, prior to that week, we are going to be uh, gathering to, to get together uh, and just walk through the neighborhood, pray and put up these, these hangers. I need people. I need people with kids. I need people who can walk. I need uh, people who, uh, who just want to be in on it. And the more we have, of course, the easier it will be for us. So I'm inviting you to contact me and say, love to walk. And so uh, let, let me know, contact me, and I'll give you all the details of when that meeting is, when we convene. And uh, we'll give you, a, I'll give you a couple of streets. You just walk up the streets, put it up. We're gonna all do it at the same time. We're letting everybody know we're coming. It's gonna be on Facebook. 
and this is actually something which is sponsored by the Arrowfield Village Association. So although we host it, it's really a, a neighbors and village event. And so we're just gonna be helping and we're also gonna be praying. So please contact me, come with your kids. And uh, you know, you got a couple of kids, great. We can just, we can knock down a street in no time, but I need some help with, uh, with getting those out. So we have that. And I gotta say there are three other initiatives which are just sprouting up around us. Pretty exciting stuff as we, as we continue to simply to reassemble and gather as a people. So enjoy your vacations. A lot of you are away this week. Uh, um, enjoy your time off, get refreshed, but also get refreshed by having the Lord strengthen you, refresh you in within the deep core of your being by the power of the Holy Spirit, out of God's richness and abundance, he wants to do that to have you strengthen so that it's so that Christ, who you have come to believe in, will be dwelling and living within and through you in this very powerful way. So that's what the sermon is about on Sunday. So anyway, hope to see you Sunday, indoors or out, rain or shine, and uh, God bless you, and we'll talk to you soon. And tell me, what baseball team in the minor leagues uses that symbol. The winner will be announced next week. Thanks.